Okay, this is Brant from TradeGuild.net. Bear with me, I got some notes here. Uh, first of all, some noteworthy events this week. Uh, the Dow plunged, uh, well, yesterday up to uh, 200 points. It broke down through that 11,000 level for the first time in two years. We're looking at a daily chart right now. I'll go ahead and uh, throw a five minute chart up there so we can take a closer look over here. Uh, basically, let's take a look at an hourly chart here. We can see um, the Dow has been in a real steady downtrend here since uh, June, since it topped out and rolled over, uh, characterized by lower highs, lower lows, equals downtrend. Um, in this area here, everybody's kind of been expecting a bounce for a while, and we've just seen uh, complete chaos as it just shakes traders up and down, uh, just really nothing uh, going on there. It's very difficult to make any money in this kind of a market. Um, people expecting a bounce just getting hit left and right. But um, recently the mess has been centered around the uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac um, scandals here, I guess you could call it, uh, Lehman Brothers coming out earlier in the week, uh, suggesting that the Tier 3 or Level 3 assets are going to have to come on the books for uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Uh, and I guess suggesting maybe the whole entire financial community may have to bring a level three assets on the books, which would basically just wipe out market cap of you know all these big brokers and and banks because level three assets are like the garbage of garbage. Uh, just bring the next round of financial disaster upon us. Um, so we saw a couple things happen. Uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie uh, Freddie Mac were down as much as 64%, uh, 73% respectively from their close last week. Let's take a look at Freddie over here um, to their lows this week. Let's look at a daily chart so we can get an idea of how bad that actually was. Huge volume there. You can see, um, you know, just pretty pretty big rebound spike there. The uh, options contracts just ridiculously priced on these guys. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at a couple other things. Then we'll take a look at the market a little bit closer. Um, greasing the wheels of the roller coaster has been oil. Here's USO. We can see USO. I was talking about USO back about mid June, saying the uh, oil bubble is about to burst. Stand back, you're going to get tarred and hopefully not feathered. But uh, here's an ascending wedge. Ascending wedges typically are a bearish development. You can see it over here. I've got the trend lines drawn in. Typically, they're going to retrace their base. This is USO. If we actually pull up oil here's X oil uh, it's been in a little uh, better trading channel there but here we have notorious mr. hangman uh, out there all alone on a big gap up in oil of course this is all centered largely around supply concerns and geopolitical concerns revolving around the Iran uh, Israeli supposed crisis and the fake missiles and everything else that's been going on this week uh, with that development. Let's take a look uh, real quick at USO here. I want to show you a couple things. First of all, um, I want to show you my indicator 3C and here's a daily version of it. This is one of the reasons I've been saying I think you know oil is about ready to burst. Here's uh, first of all USO making a new high over here. The indicator is not even anywhere close to that. That's called a negative divergence or distribution. If we look at this on a one minute time frame, which is kind of interesting because uh, what happened over here, let me zoom out a little bit. We got a, um, a big gap up in the morning, Friday morning. Uh, this indicator was not following it whatsoever, uh, suggesting that gap up was pure distribution. Um, so sellers there, and we saw, of course, it fall uh, rather precipitously. We got another little bounce over here. Of course, the indicator is making total new lows over here, leading divergence. So this uh, was prone to failure, of course, bumping into resistance over here. Uh, the indicator said so. Um, we're seeing maybe a little bit of something. Maybe um, let's take a look at another one minute over here. Maybe a little bit of a bounce brewing over here. Here's another one. This one shows it a little bit more clearly. Again, you know, here's the negative divergence here, negative divergence over here and somewhat of a leading divergence over here and you can see after hours of course the bid and ask is already uh, you know gapped up a little bit there so something going on there but I don't think it's anything big you know if we look again the hourly chart this thing is a complete mess and uh, there's a 15 minute chart um, just real bad negative divergence here this is my 3C indicator by the way which uh, I've developed using uh, some of Warden 
or telecharge proprietary indicators. So if you want to give um, my indicator a shot, it uh, tracks distribution and accumulation, as you can see here. Um, here's a, a top over here. This is showing distribution. Of course, that top fails miserably. Another top over here showing distribution fails miserably. So the indicator works pretty good. If you want to give it a shot, um, go to my site at tradeguild.net. There's a hyphen between trade and guild. And I've got a whole bunch of links to uh, Warden, to Telechart, to Blocks.com. Uh, choose one of those links. They've got free offers to try out Telechart, to try out Blocks. Give them a shot.